Hi, I'm Philip Vanderpool, and if you love big buck decoy action, then you're going to love this week's show. All of us here at Dominator 365 sincerely want to wish you and your family a blessed and happy Thanksgiving. And what a better way to start the show than to get old Michael Warren behind that elite bow and chase an old sad daddy longbeard. Looky here, looky here. That was one. Nice gobbler, folks. Tell you what, I'm not going to show you what the solid broadhead done to this turkey. It's pretty wicked cut. <laughs> so, it's, uh, it weighs about a certified scale, I'd say maybe 18 pounds. Uh, this time of year they do lose, lose, lose a little bit of weight. So, uh, let's see what kind of beard we got. I got about a seven inch beard. It's not the prettiest tail I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> but hey, it's a big old gobbler. And I uh, took him down with my Elite Energy 35. And the main thing I want to do is just thank God for the opportunity. And I've been really blessed have a chance to hunt and enjoy the great outdoors so hey thank you very much for joining us here in southeastern ohio this is dominator 365 it's game day every day when it comes to big buck action i know i can always count on arrowhead wilderness outfitters well we're here in kansas arrowhead wilderness outfitters it's time to go check the trail cameras out He's got to get his coffee. First things first, when we roll in, it's time to check the trail cameras. 949, brother. Look at that. Big nine point. Beautiful deer. Look at it. That's when you got to be in your setup, so 949, 10 o'clock. To our surprise, we didn't really see the bucks that we were wanting to get, get after right off the bat until we went to Heartbreak Ridge and there was a buck on there that tripped my trigger. What's the deal? Oh, yeah, look, look at the brow tines. He's a 10, mainframe 10. He's tight rack. Look at the brows. How they go, and he's got trash here. He's done something that's really cool with him. But that deer's got some character and he's cool. And that's what I'm all about. And he's a mature deer. He's at least a four year old. After checking the trail cameras, we decided to go in on Heartbreak Ridge and try to hunt Heartbreaker. Then right at last light, here comes Heartbreaker. Good. 
You know, it literally broke my heart to watch Heartbreaker walk off. But the good thing is I knew that he hadn't busted us and that he didn't know we were in the area. And that gives us an opportunity or somebody else an opportunity at that spot. When you can beat a big buck's nose along with other bucks, mature does, you know that you've got something special. And scent control plays a huge vital importance to this whole process. Next morning, hey, it's back to the dagger blind, and I'm gonna tell you right now, I was feeling it. The winds are gonna pick up today, but we're gonna do a little bit of grind rattling wheezing. We're right in a little pinch point funnel. It's a little bit tight to, to get a buck to come into the decoy here, but if I can just ever get one locked in, coming in, I think, I think we can close the deal. So now it's time to grunt, rattle, and wheeze to an old sad daddy buck. Here we go. I want you all to keep this in mind. When it's bitter cold like it's been, you got a heavy frost, don't look for a lot of movement right off the bat. It's usually when that sun pops out and it's starting to melt, then the deer action comes alive. The does come in, they just did not like Smitty, my decoy. And I was beginning to wonder, should I bring a decoy to this spot? And it wasn't just a little bit. There, here comes a small buck right on an old doe. And keep this in mind, when you having a buck chasing a doe, it ain't gonna hurt anything. I grunted, rattled. I'm sitting there in La La Land, and I'm wondering, why in the world is it not happening? All of a sudden, Don says, don't move, shooter buck. Got him, buddy. Smoke, solid broadhead, Kansas, Arrowhead Wilderness Outfitters, Dominator 365. We just let the elite eat, baby. We smoked him, Don. Lord, thank you, Jesus, for that. <laughs> attitude, attitude, attitude. That's what we we're looking for. I know there's bigger bucks probably, but man, Grunting, rattling, and wheezing where you had just rattled and grunted. Y'all, I can't say enough about this call right here. Hey, the stretch back grunt call from dual game calls. I just hit it a couple licks. And I just told Don, I said, Don, it's a beautiful morning, man. Something good has got to happen. And here's the cool thing. We set these cameras up, and it should be awesome, Don Palmer. We got one, two, three out there, right? Four, five. Let me come in right there, and he's bowed up. Looks like a big old dog walking sideways, a little hair standing up, and them ears laid back. What else can you ask for? This buck has come in and just pretty much took over this area, hadn't he? Because he showed up the last two or three days and he's been on our trail cameras in two different places, one on the south side, one on the north side. And my gosh, up close and personal, just like what you want, man. What was it? Maybe a 10 yard shot. Got him, buddy.
Y'all, I want to first of all show you this Alps ground blind, this Alps phantom. Look how it blends in. We took the cedars, we blended this in real well. If you notice, I got the tattletale here. This is the key a lot of times, and I've got it set just as a teaser here to where I'm raising this tail up here just to give it a more real, authentic look. I'm telling you, if you don't have one of those tattletales, it's just a pocket size tattletail that you, you can just wrap it up, put it in your pocket, and go hunt. You can hunt, you can put this on a tree, straps around a tree. It's all about curiosity, visibility, and you saw how that big buck locked in here on Smitty. Don is kind of standing right here, if you will, in a mock scrape that I'd actually made here yesterday and sanded it up with this. And But I also used it in conjunction with the VS1 here, the Estra scent. Doug Roberts makes the best sense out there. I believe that deer found this probably last night. I about bet you he's on trail cam. And he's probably come in here. He's probably come back to scent check. And then, of course, when he sees Smitty sitting here, that's where the attitude came. He don't want nobody else in his territory. He's coming in here to scent check this. Here's my arrow. Looks like the fletching. It blew through him, but it looks like the fletching. Uh, well, look at that solid broadhead, y'all. I'm telling you right now, that'll be number three with this here broadhead, just so you know if we find him, which I think we will. Don out here, here. Don Palmer, Don Palmer, buddy. I see him laying over there right now. Y'all, let's go enjoy this moment together. I want you to take a look at this guy. Thank you, good Lord. Don Palmer, would you look at this buck? Holy smokes, rut it up, isn't he? When you walk up to that big old sad daddy buck for the first time and get your hands on him, whew, what a moment. When you make a good shot, and a buck does everything you want to. Sometimes, uh, you know, these animals give their life for us on video. And I, I just want to give them all the respect that they deserve and need. And it's been tough. This is my first buck in, in November. And October was tough. I ran camera there. We had some ups and downs that we just didn't, couldn't get on shooter bucks. It started out so good. He's a gorgeous deer, Don. He really is, isn't he? He's tall. Look at the time length. Oh, hi, nine, buddy. He's been rubbing and just putting on the show. He come in just... I'm just so blessed. Y'all, and I'm gonna tell you something. When I decoy, I, I always like to use sense and lures. And these guys right here, it's unreal. Don and I have our moment there at the old sad daddy buck along with y'all. And then all of a sudden here shows up old Donovan. What a dandy. He's pretty, isn't he? Beautiful buck. He's pretty in. Thank you, buddy. Get down here, man. Oh, oh. Dear. Wow. We, uh, he didn't go 30 yards probably from where I shot him. <laughs> he bowed up on the decoy. I, I couldn't, where I had the decoy at, I couldn't have let him go ahead and come on in to the decoy. Then I wouldn't have got the pass through as much. He stopped, I didn't stop right there in front, pretty much in front of that camera. Donovan and I have done lots of turkey hunting stuff together. Boy, and speaking of turkeys, I think y'all got them for this spring. We got a lot of turkeys. What a hatch, got huh? A lot of different hatches, got a different size poles. <laughs> so this spring ought to be unreal. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully you can maybe do a fall turkey hunt while you're here. So get a show oh gosh, that gum, yeah, I mean, buddy. Turkeys are coming in here, ain't they? Well, I got two turkey tags burning a hole in my pocket, and I always love to come out here with my mouth yelpers. Let's go. The dual game calls and see if we can't pull in some old fall turkey oh, action. There was one hen that really tripped my trigger. She had a beard. The land of Oz, once again, Dorothy's clicked her heels.
Oh, 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 oh.